Hey folks, welcome back to Bite Your Avery Adventures. Uh, as you may know, we've been on a, a short break from any trips due to a, a, a family bereavement. But we're back at it. We are just about to do our first big bird watch of 2023. We're going to head to North Norfolk and hope to find some species such as shorelarks. Apparently there's a long-billed doorwitcher, a pallid harrier, um, Hume's leaf warbler, and hopefully some various other birds. Um, join us. Should be a good one. It's cold. Hi folks, we've just arrived at our uh, overnight destination. Um, I can't remember the name of the place, but it's by the Wash and the Kings Lynn. Um, it's late on. It's what, like 11 o'clock now. Um, we're going to get our head down soon and tomorrow we're going to start a 24 hour kind of birding challenge, trying to get as many lifers as we can in 24 hours. So that'll be cool. See you in the morning. Morning folks. Morning. It's early. Um, it's early. It is... Um... It's half six now. <laughs> so I'd usually do a little video in the morning of me showing you where we stayed overnight, which looked pretty in the dark. Although it was very frosty this morning. Um, the reason I haven't done that is because we were woken up uh, about 5.40 by a dog walker. And uh, and we were hungry and wanted to get changed. And it was really cold. So uh, we're now at a service station. Golden arches will do. Yeah. Just we're going to get some food, a cup of tea. And um, get changed. And make a plan. So stop twitching when it gets light. Look at us. <laughs> we are at our first bit of twitching. Um, lights just coming up. I can't even remember where we are. Home Dunes, I think it is. On um, a golf course. On a golf course, weirdly. Hunstanton Golf Course it is. Um, and we're looking for um, apparently shorelark that are supposed to be here. Uh, but it's really cold. Hence the loud... Um, looking <laughs> snuddy and wearing and the Eskimo that's standing next to me <laughs> let's see if we can find some shorelock although the light was pretty low the shorelock was easy to find Kaylee picked it out pretty quickly against the shingle and sand not the best footage but a lovely bird we battled the cold and we got the shorelock just one off um, I didn't get the greatest footage because the sun's not completely up yet, so it's a bit dark. But it's yeah, I'm trying not to fall over. Um, but that is a lifer for both of us. Woohoo! So the next bird we're going for. In fact, I don't know. We're going to have a look first. It could be either a Central Asian lesser white throat. I'm sure that's a subspecies. Or um, there's a Hume's leaf warbler that has um, that's been a problem in the past on previous twitches. So anyway, stick with us. We drove to a nearby nature reserve. When we arrived, unfortunately, it was closed. Although en route, we did see some lovely horses and a bit of a surprise in the form of some Munt Jack deer. These deer were introduced in the 20th century in Berkshire and have spread throughout Cambridgeshire and Norfolk as well. This is an animal we weren't aware of in the area, so it was lovely to see one grazing. And unfortunately, due to the reserve being closed, we were unable to look for the Central Asian Lesser Whitethroat, so we moved on. We've headed now to try and find uh, the Hume's Leaf Warbler at Brancaster. Um, there seems to be some bird watchers in the distance, so hopefully that's where we're going to go. So fingers crossed for this one. This has been a bit of a, a pain in the past. We've tried to see it and not. So um, really hoping for this. Whilst walking towards where all the other bird watchers were, we had lovely views of plenty of reed buntings feeding alongside the path. Some of them were remarkably close. A few other birds included stone chat and blue tit. After a short wait, the Hume's leaf warbler showed up. It moved quickly through the trees, so the first footage I had wasn't the best. Following a quick disappearing act, the bird showed up almost right by my feet in the undergrowth. So I got some reasonable footage, considering how fast the bird was moving around. What a star! Right folks, 
She's got a video of on a phone of this Hume's leaf warbler. There he is. That's super cool. Little gem of him. It, it started off a bit elusive but ended up quite showy in the end. So super, super happy. I'm hoping I've got some good pictures. We'll find out when I get home. Following that success, we headed to try and find some other birds, including a door witcher, a rare American wader that had moved on and some more shawl art. So after a lovely success with the Hume's Leaf Warbler, uh, we spent a couple of hours driving around trying to find birds that we couldn't find and also trying to find some half decent food for lunch. So eventually we have found a chippy. So we're having a chippy dinner and it's excellent. That was on Wells, Wells on the Sea, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, really nice chip shop there and we're Gonna see if we can find uh, either hen harriers or pallid. There has been a pallid harrier here, so um, hopefully that might show up. Wish us luck. Whilst parked up eating our chips, there was plenty of wading birds on the shore. Some of them got pretty close, like this lovely turnstone, and a little later on, a wonderful grey plover. After we'd stuffed ourselves with fish and chips. We headed towards the place where the pallid harrier had been is seen. A, is it a particularly muddy car park? I don't like the look of that. When we got there, the car park was very muddy. Once we got past this and walked down a lane next to a field that was full of brent geese, the most I've ever seen in one place, we got to the marsh and found a lot of other bird watchers. So we set our scope up and we watched for quite a while. There were no sign of hen or pallid harriers. We saw a couple of marsh harriers and a lovely barn owl. And also in the distance, a male sparrowhawk sat on a fence. After a while of standing there getting very, very cold, we decided to call it a day and headed back to the car. Hi folks. We've just been looking for pallid harriers and hen harriers. Um, not a sausage, or well, certainly no harriers. We got a couple of marsh areas, yeah. Got a lovely view of a barn owl, um, which was lovely. Doing a bit of hunting, but unfortunately, um, blanked on the harriers. So, good morning, not so great afternoon. So, we're going to head um, for the last kind of bird of the day. I'm going to go and have a look from Mealy Radpole, which is about 20 minutes away. Try and get there before it goes dark. We made a decision before it went dark to try and find a reported mealy red pole. So ending the unfortunately little bit disappointing afternoon um, looking for our target species, the mealy red pole is in a nature reserve, we didn't realise that and they've closed. It was time to call it a day. We'd had a good but hectic day in Norfolk. Although in general not the easiest day birding, we did get the two lifers. We got the shore lark and the Hume's Leaf Warbler. Both birds we were over the moon to see. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and please subscribe. See you soon.